What's up, ladies and gentlemen? You're watching a G Live Game Night production. This is a short discussion on our best games of 2020. My name is Leo, as always, your host, joined here by Willow and Glory. And just in case this is the first video you're seeing from us after the new year, we wish you guys a happy, happy 2021. Before we get into the meat of things, let's check in on our friends here. Again, this is the OG G Live Game Night fam. Willow, kumusta? How has uh, the new year been to you? Celebrations everywhere, man. Madami, madami akong games na, na at 2020. Actually, sa dulo, at the end of 2020 that I really were surprised na I, I made people play. Uh, mm -hmm. Lalo na yung nephews nephews and nieces mm -hmm. and my brother so it's been a good board game year nice. for 2020 for me so medyo humabol no during Q4. Humabol. at the oh. end at the end oh, oh. at the end lang <laughs> q2 and q3 was just like <laughs> lockdown no yeah, board right. games and then q4 no was like board games. here you go have some fun how about you glory how have you been ako naman baliktad um it's been a good board game year as well but um Q4 nag taper off because I I was busy because I changed my job. But mm. nung first uh, nung Q3 and Q2, I was been I have been playing a lot of games. So mm. multiple times a week. So it's been a good board gaming year for me. Still. Yeah. Alright. And I like how it's like different for both of y'all. So you can say uh like it's still good either way. Alright. So <laughs> Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, let's get into our main topic. Again, this is the best games of 2020 by yours truly. So again, this is going to be very opinionated. Your choice of games coming in from the previous year may be a little different and a short caveat. No, um, these games may have been released maybe in the past years, but we mostly played them in 2020 and we have come to love and enjoy them in the year since okay so i think we'll start off with willow first my guy we have two games each all right so sakto siya two zero two zero <laughs> what's your first game what's your best of 2020. say my first game is just 20h i know 2019 shot 2019 uh, spiel the yaris and spiel but we got the Philippine version, I think 2020 or late 2019. Um, 2020. Yeah, yeah 2020. it was planned there you go. It's for in. XXL. It's in. Yeah. <laughs> there, it's in. So, ano talaga, Just One PH, wala kang... This, this is a game you can bring anywhere. Mm -hmm. This is a game you can actually just bring the cards. Tapos, everyone has phones naman. When we play it in Zoom in Discord also, I can just show the card or I can text it to the, um, the player guessing. It's been it's been my go to. Oh, Willow, Online. what is what game can I play quickly with you or something? I'm gonna, even if like naghintay lang kami ng for the uh, microwave o, the oven to pop, <laughs> we we play we play just twenty eight. Uh -huh. Or we na saing habang na saing. Yeah, habang na saing nag naglalaro kami. We we search for movies ta, or uh, we look at uh, Filipino movie movies even. Tapos. Uh, since tatlo lang kami, we what we do is uh, everyone get everyone gets two clues each. Tapos nahahati siya. Uh, but but I just want PH. It it changed the way uh, yung board games ko actually were played in 2020. Because mm -hmm. most of the games na gusto kong laro I can't really play. Mm -hmm. But this one at least kaya kong online. I can do it quickly. I can visit someone while we're waiting for food delivery or you know, whatever we can play it mm -hmm. so just one ph that's yeah. just yeah it, it, it's, it's brainy enough too like you have to think of things but not too much not too hard uh, i yeah. remember glory like before the lockdown we played a lot of just one even on yeah. stream no yeah <laughs> so uh i i can see how willow loves this game Chaka most played ano kaya, an online game just one yeah it's very easy to implement you can just make them write on their cell phones Yep. So I group ngay, eh. parang papasulat mo lang sa cell phone nila. You don't need anything else. Yeah, but here's one thing I gotta ask Willow: Is this in your top of the list because you technically worked on this game as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. As in, uh, even the people I played with, parang sila, parang for, at first parang oh okay, we're just gonna write clues, parang um, what do you call this? Parang pinohenyo or parang mm -hmm. charades or pictionary yung isip nila. But then when they get to when they get to play it, tapos they see na parang I have to be specific enough pero vague. Parang dun na click na parang oh this game is really good. Mm -hmm. yep. So and then and then that's where you slide in like 
I did some of it. I, I, I did. I, I put some, <laughs> oh, some of the words in there. <laughs> that was yeah. cool. I remember the, the process, you know, since uh, this was a game that was co produced with Gaming Library. No, um, I, I'm so excited. I, I personally don't have my own copy yet. So, you know, maybe when, when we get back together, when things are more normal, we'll play more just one PH. So that's Willow's first game, his first best of 2020. Let's move on to Glory here. What's your first game? Your best of okay. 2020. My first game is actually ano siya, may evidence ako na 2020 siya na put na release dito kasi it was one of the most hyped games during the first uh, new arrival stream of Hands mm-hmm. during the lockdown. So this was the first game I bought in lockdown. So I had to I had to coordinate with Hands kasi siya lang yun sa office, ECQ non. And that game is Wavelength. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's also one of my most played games this year because it's so different. I mean, my friends is alam na nila yung mga party games ko, our favorites like Just One, um, Avalon, the usual Bang the Dice game. Alam na alam alam na nila yung mga party games na pinapalaro sa kanila. But then when I introduced Wavelength to all of my gaming groups, they were so amazed because kakaiba talaga siya like. Alam mo yun, it's Wolfgang War. So, kakaiba talaga na it's a range mm-hmm. and kailangan mo ilagay yung, yung dial. It's so different. It's very fresh. And I am, I'm so thankful na nakuha ko siya um, right smack in the middle of ECQ because I've also played it online yeah, with a yeah. lot of my friends. Kasi it's so easy eh. Parang may pinakita mm-hmm. pa nga si Jericho na it's a PowerPoint na pwedeng dun mo ilagay yung dial. So that mm-hmm. you can really play it with your friends online, but nice. I've also I've also done it through the stream. Uh, I've played with uh, hands, in a wavelength, and it works flawlessly. So if you're still looking, if you're very strict and you still don't go out, and you want to play with your friends, and siguro sa wakana sa just one, because it also works really well, then I think you should check out wavelength. I gotta say, Wolfgang Warsh can do no wrong. Yeah. This this man is a <laughs> genius. Well, how did you enjoy uh, wavelength? I, I I did. I I played actually ka gabe. I played wavelength gabe. Yeah, the online version though. Right. Ooh, um, okay. Perfect. It's called long. I forgot what it's called. I'm sorry. But it's a it's a game essentially. It's it's wavelength. It's it's the game. Yeah. It's wavelength. It's long. Long wave. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just a matter of time before uh, we see uh, this game kind of like be. Up there uh, amongst our Dixits, among our just ones, right? Because mm-hmm. because just one already has won uh, game of the year. Uh, Dixit, I mean, it's it's a staple, right? So yeah. wavelength, continue lang feeling was like oh wavelength. Right? Uh, wavelength. I think um anag stop lang sa wavelength uh, to be like with the code names just one Dixit is yung price point niya pa rin. Um, yeah, I don't think it's. Two, two. Yeah, two, it's two two. two. Plus yung I think Dixit is around that yung base then. Pero kasi yeah. I think mas madaming art and love yung nilabas for Dixit kaya yeah. it's worth 2000 pero yung wavelength is, I mean there's a toy in it pero you can <laughs> technically not use the toy yeah. so yeah. If, I agree. if wala yung toy kasi you, you get a box this small mm. yep. Yep. and for sure cheaper siya. but I, it's it's way up there with with those just ones code names mm-hmm. and it, it's just a matter of time right that's yep. just a matter of time uh my first game of 2020 how perfect is this it's a 2019 game but uh it came uh maybe q1 the first few months of 2020 for us here locally um and it's also by Wolfgang Warsh. I knew it. Yes. I knew it. Y'all know how much I love this game. This is Taverns <laughs> of Tiff and Tao. Yeah. And it's a game that, as sad as it is, uh, I still love it. Na hindi ko siya pwedeng laruin. Like your games are online, no? Via Zoom or Discord because it's, 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 it, it, it's a classic board game. It's an engine yeah. building, dice rolling, drafting, just, ah. Oh. Mine is here. Can you see? <laughs> yeah, that is, get, love it. <laughs> I don't have mine with me. I'm, I'm in some hotel room, but I, I miss it. I, I sometimes when I'm back home, right? I would just stare at like one day, <laughs> one day. So brang lupit guys ng uh, taverns of Tiff and Tall. Uh, even at two players, it's all right. Yep. Like you just go I back re- and forth. I remember playing with you two players, diba? I went to your place. Yeah, was when we did work that one day. Want, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Okay, super, super good. So, uh, Taverns of Tiff and Tall, um, 
it, it, it reminds me of games like Diner Dash from the early 2000s. Uh, <laughs> and yep. it, it, it has so much mechanical uh, dynamics. But just the same, it's not so hard. Because there are simple aspects of deck building, push your luck, and um, just making this thing work. Like, I'm pretty sure um, people who enjoyed... What was that game? Food Chain well, Magnet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Food Chain Magnet, they're like... I just want to be dumb a little. So that was a demon uh, thought. It's like <laughs> running a friggin' bar, right? Like, yo, bro, you want to go to, uh, to to palace? Like, that's what it feels yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Perfect example is si Luke, actually, because he loves Food <laughs> Chain Magnet, but he also loves Taverns of Thief and Town. Yeah, no, I think that was at the uh, the anniversary party for, for GL in, in BGC, remember? That's when he first whipped that copy out and it caught my eye. We were busy with Willow when we were doing the auction. So, we didn't have to But when I saw like... You're watching people play, right? Like, oh, yeah. what is this? It's <laughs> no. Yeah, and then that's where I first saw Tavern. So, that, that that's my first game of uh, my two. No? Taverns of Tiefenthal, technically a 2019 release, but uh, we mostly enjoyed it in 2020. Uh, how's about we hit your second game here? Well, uh, what's your second game, your best of 2020? Okay, um, <laughs> 2019 release din ata to eh. Pero I played it 2020, but may caveat ako kasi uh, madami siyang expansions. And they still release expansions 2020. Okay. I don't okay. have those expansions, but yeah. they still release those. I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm afraid we might have the same game, but go ahead. No, I don't think it's the same. <laughs> okay. I, right. I think I know yours. I, I'm going with the other one. Ah, see, see. I'm going with Funkovers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you oh, just picked up a copy. Mine is also here. Mine is yeah. also here. All right. Yours, DC and DC. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter, yeah. Harry Potter. Uh, sakto, I have DC and Rick and Marty. Anyway. Ooh, we can play. <laughs> yeah, we can. We can just bring it. Anyway, yeah. sobrang. I was surprised actually by the game. I thought it was a uh, camas where um, people buy it for the figurines mm-hmm. and the, you thought it was you thought it was the dumb. IP. Yeah, you expected it to be Pero dumb. the cooldown system, the skill system, mag- maganda siya actually. Even if it's a, it's I, I know it gets compared a lot to Unmatched, and I have I have my Unmatched collection. Then I played Funkovers more now because I play with my brothers and mas light siya. And pag sa unmatched kasi when you're doing when you're playing with cards, um, I know the cards more than the people I'm playing with, so most of the time I win. May, may skill gap. Yeah. yeah. Pero sa sa fungovers kasi it's just dice rolling she, eh. dice rolling she. I, I would compare it yeah, to it's a uh, fun stupid version of um, X Wing. Mm. Uh, mm. You, you position yourself, tapos just dice. You have certain skills that you put. Because you can move yung weapons nila to anyone. I can put the bat, bat, put batarang kay, kay Morty, kay Rick. <laughs> it's just fun. It's the creating of your your team. Tapos just fighting. Ganun lang. Ang dami uh, pang scenario. Okay. Uh, wow, really may, like. may humabol pa lang 2020. Yeah. Game will. Sobrang oh. humabol siya. Kasi I, I haven't played my unmatched in months. Kasi wala akong kalaro. Yeah. I decided to get uh, one Funkovers. And then the day the day after that, I got the Rick and Morty immediately. Kasi fan ako ng Rick and Morty. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. I think alam ko na kung ano yung Hey, Leo. I know them. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I put my heart on my sleeve because he's like, alam niya yata. But yeah, yeah, Glory, you also have your own copy of Funkoverse, yeah? Yes. A different base one. though. Is it the same base? What is it? Is it Harry it's Potter? It's Harry Potter. It's uh-huh. the Harry Potter base. Mine and is it's... the Batman DC. Okay. And cool. I, I, I was super have... fan of Harry Potter, and then when I saw the gameplay of Funkoverse, so brahong na wow, game. Because. You alam yun na I have a I have unmatched too, de ba? Pero yes. uh, for some reason, unless feeling ko pagkasama ko kayo, I won't be able to play it with anyone else. That's yeah, right. okay. I mean, kailangan ko siya muna ng maabsorb totally before I can teach it to someone and get them excited about it. Right. Mm-hmm. But with the Funkoverse, I know kaya ko na makapture yun in an instant. Yung yeah. attention nila yeah. and yung interest. Yeah, and that, that that makes for a very strong game. Like, yep. say what you will about Unmatched, how amazing it is, pero meron yung Funkoverse na wala yeah. Unmatched. It's, it's just mm-hmm. the appeal, it's right there. 
No? Mm-hmm. So that that's Willow's uh, second best of 2020. Um, I guess since the cat is out of the bag right you here. Go next? Oh, <laughs> na natin, di ba? So technically, mine is also a 2019 release, but it came out uh, locally more available uh, locally 2020. And that's also when a lot of its expansions came out, which makes the game more complete. As per most reviewers, as per most content creators, they're like, ah, on release, the game was kind of weak. But with all of these other expansions, the variety and the depth that you can get um, from the additional content, the game became more complete. No? And this, this game is very much compared to the likes of Arkham Horror the Card Game. So I'm like perfect as a pandemic. Kahit mag isa lang ako na lock dito sa bahay, I can play it, no? And I've done that. And I'm talking about Marvel Champions. Yep. The game is just again. I don't know why, but 2020 seems to be the the, the year of I just want to be a little dumb. So mm-hmm. Arkham Horror LCG, it it gets you your mind uh, reeling. You get scared. It's so tense. Pero to Marvel Champions, like, all right. Just beat up the bad guy. Cool. We're and good. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And I don't know. There's 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 appeal to that. And I don't know. It, it just sucks that I wasn't able to share it with you guys immediately. Like as soon as I got it, that would have been cool to just like lay it out. Like who do you want? Glory, you wanna be what? Yeah. Willow, you wanna be this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Halata, I mean, was it was it so obvious? For, for me, halata, <laughs> kasi. I know you, you, how you how much you loved it. We discussed pang playing it online somehow. Yeah. <laughs> like buying my my own base game. Tapos, de ba? You just take care of the the main body. Yeah. Ako iba yung iniisip kong game. Oh, what was what? it? What was it? I was unmatched? thinking unmatched. Uh, uh, yeah. I love that too. Yeah, unmatched kind of just missed the mark. Kasi nga it had that little issue of there's only really two people who will fall in love with unmatched and immediately wanna play with you. One is um, a person who likes that kind of combat, yung yung one on one, mechanically speaking, like konti na lang card game na siya, konti na lang chess like na siya. And then yep. the other is someone who just loves the lore. So I don't know. Look for the biggest Sinbad fan. Look for the biggest Bruce Lee fan. No, but <laughs> again, Sinbad. Fan. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I don't know. It's just so hard to find people who fall into either uh, category quickly. So, yep. parang, I'll just save that for when I'm with Willow or for when I'm with someone who's like, ano magandang two-player game? But, yeah. So, my my game here is Marvel Champions. So, I guess we'll close off with, with Glory. Glory, what is your second game? What is okay. your best of 2020? Mine, ako lang yata yung hindi nandaya. Kasi, <laughs> Both 2020s? Like, meron talaga like 2020 release. Okay. That I just recently played. Um... And it's, I think, one of the best buys that I did during lockdown. Um, it's a Kickstarter version that I got from gaming libraries, either 11, 11 or 10, 10 sale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Value <laughs> already. Sobrang, sobrang, as in, I was shocked. Okay, it's Oceans. Mm-hmm. Oceans. So, yeah, so it's valued at 4.4, and I got it for 2.8, I think, 2.8. And then, parang normal lang siya. I mean, I was happy because of the discount, but then when I opened the box, grabe na yun 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 deluxe edition. As in mind <laughs> blown. Yeah. Okay, so yung yung carton pieces niya is meron siyang version na plastic pieces. Mm-hmm. Tapos uh, may may Kickstarter exclusive cards, um, and daming upgraded components. But aside from that, I mean, yeah, I love the components, though. But <laughs> The actual gameplay, I was so surprised by it because if you guys know me, I, I you know that I don't like it when it's just cards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I really tried to get into terraforming Mars, but after a while, it was really just it's just cards. It was a little flat for you. Yeah, it's like I I didn't have that tactile feel and, yep. parang it felt like I don't like it when it's just the cards that dictates whatever I can do. Mm-hmm. So that's why I was on the fence with Oceans. I mean, you know me, I would jump on it right, but I didn't. But I'm so happy that I got it because it's not just cards. I mean, there's also a tactile feel with the feeding, with the fish. But aside from that, the interplay of the cards, mm-hmm. it doesn't feel so abstract. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel like, okay, so put one um, colony here. Alam mo yun, parang hindi siya, hindi siya ganun eh. It's really, there's an interplay of the cards. You need to know what cards will work best together. And it's, 
it looks more complex. It it looks more complex than it actually is. Mm-hmm. So it hits that uh, 90 minute sweet spot for me, even with teaching because so bumbilis kasi na turo. Um, siguro 15 minutes and then okay na siya. And then you can just um, you can just assist the other player as you go along. So it worked really well with two players, in my opinion. I'm not sure how <laughs> how Blue felt about it because <laughs> medyo natalo ko siya na destroyed her by a margin <laughs> I kind of I kind of destroyed her but um, for me it was it was a really fun experience and I'm so happy I'm really so happy that I got the Kickstarter edition I mean I feel like there's no other way to play the game. Sobrang ganda talaga ng components niya. And even the artwork, even the quality of the cards, and the premium sleeves that it comes with, as in, as in, sobrang worth it, guys. So, kung meron pa sa GL, I suggest, magamang kayo ng 1-1 sale. Hindi, hindi. Hindi nang sale. Hindi nang make sense yun. 2-2. 2-2. Okay, take it on 2-2 sale and jump on it because I, I really enjoy it. We'll see. Wow, okay. So, that's Oceans. For glory, guys, snatch up a copy that you can find. That is the full Kickstarter copy, right? Because yep. I think yep. Glory, you kind of spoiled yourself. Like, like you, you're you're not gonna have the game any other way now. Yeah, no more. <laughs> <laughs> if if you check the base game na hindi Kickstarter, it's uh, it's meh meh, meh na siya. Meh. sobrang meh. All right, yeah. maybe that's why Blue didn't mind getting smashed because uh, at least the things look good. Right? Uh, sabi niya, parang <laughs> Uh, I want to try it again. Normally, kasi pag ganun ka siya katalo, she wouldn't want to try again. Mm-hmm. But game. sabi niya, I'm willing to try again because sobrang ganda ng components niya. Mm-hmm. And sometimes that's all you need, right? Yeah, yeah, let, yeah, yeah. Let that be a lesson, guys. Let that be a lesson. All right, so real quick before we end the show, here is a rundown of our best of 2020. You're going to be seen on screen right now. Once again, for Willow, that was Just One PH followed by Funkoverse. And then Glory's Games, of course, uh, her first best of a 2020 title is Wavelength and followed up by Oceans, Asterisk, the Kickstarter version. And of course, my best of 2020 would be Marvel Champions and Taverns of Thief and Tal. Let us know what your best of 2020 is, guys. Put it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, this short discussion on our favorite games that we played in 2020, Click like and of course subscribe to the channel so you can be first to be notified once we upload new videos. Just make sure you hit that notification bell. And of course, hopefully you guys stay safe and have a great day.